Our other top story, the highly contagious Delta variant. New reports out today suggest we uh, could need much higher numbers in order to reach herd immunity. But there may be some good news, too, when it comes to how likely a vaccinated person can spread the virus. Joining us live now is Dr. Karen Chavelson, Chief Medical Officer from Marin Health Medical Center. Doctor, thank you. And first, the report in Bloomberg about herd immunity. Experts talking... 80, maybe even 90% to combat the Delta. What are your thoughts on that? We don't know exactly what number is needed to reach herd immunity. And the Bloomberg report uh, gives credit for people who've had the COVID infection but are not vaccinated. We know you get a much stronger immune response from vaccination. So we don't believe that infection, previous infection, should be a proxy. We also don't want to encourage people to contract COVID instead of being vaccinated. So our goal is vaccination, and we don't know exactly what the precise number needed for herd immunity is, but we can say we need more shots in the arms. This current Delta spike that we're seeing in the Bay Area, which is much worse than other parts of the country, just points to the fact that if you are eligible to be vaccinated, please go get the shot. Don't say, oh, I've had COVID, that's gonna help towards herd immunity. The message is get vaccinated. Because it's not just you, it's others in the community and your family too. And we also understand some encouraging news, a small study out of Singapore looking at how infectious vaccinated people really are. Tell us more about that. It's a pretty small study and it seems to imply that people who've been vaccinated don't transmit virus for as long. Uh, that would be good news. Uh, we know that the breakthrough cases are rare. Of course, we hope that the less transmission, the less, in, less infectious somebody is, the better. This once again, though, points to the need to be vaccinated. Uh, we know that the breakthrough infections are very rare. And so if you're vaccinated, you are less likely to spread COVID. And that is what we're after. That's what's going to protect our society. And in particular, it's going to protect our vulnerable, namely our children. Remember, if you're 11 and under, you can't get the vaccine right now. So you're at risk. Yeah, they are the great unvaccinated group. So these kids going back to school, they might let their parents, their grandparents, other elderly family members, uh, could, could they actually spread it from school into their house? Absolutely, but I'm also quite worried about transmission the other way, and that is adults who aren't vaccinated giving it to children. If you look at states like Texas and Florida, where COVID is rampant, the number of pediatric patients being admitted to pediatric ICUs with severe COVID is starting to climb, precariously so. It's becoming a crisis. So it is a responsibility of everybody who can be vaccinated to be vaccinated to protect these children. Yeah, everything you're saying is pointing to vaccination, vaccination, vaccination. We can't say it often enough, but I actually have had the argument pointed at me and they have said, well, what are you telling me to get vaccinated for? Because you're also telling me here on the news that people who are vaccinated can still get the variant. So why should I get vaccinated? They're arguing against that. Well, the good news is if you're vaccinated, you won't get as severe of disease and you probably won't be as transmissible. Those are the two key reasons to do it. If all of us were vaccinated, that is our best weapon against COVID. If we were all vaccinated, we would probably see almost no COVID. But because we didn't all get vaccinated, everything opened back up and we all started traveling and going places where there's unvaccinated people. Mm -hmm. COVID is smart. It's a heat seeking missile. It finds you. If you haven't been vaccinated, it doesn't care what your beliefs are or your politics or any of those things. It just cares that you don't have immunity and it's going to find you. Yeah, you know, it's going for the low hanging fruit, so why be that? All right, Dr. Karen Shavelson, Chief Medical Officer, Marin Health Medical Center, thank you so much. Great insight.